Promilona is a very different speech from the Philippics because it was given in a law court rather than in a political situation and at a different stage of Cicero's career. This speech was given obviously in defense of Milo when he was accused in the context of the conflict with the Tribune of the People, Claudius Pulcher. And what is most interesting about Pro Milone is that at, on that occasion, it's one of the few occasions when Cicero wasn't the most impressive advocate. We have records from Plutarch and other ancient sources who tell us that he was a bit nervous and intimidated by Pompey and his troops around the courtroom and therefore gave quite a weak speech. And that meant, although in most cases when Cicero defended someone, they were successful. In this case, they weren't. And Milo was found guilty and went into exile to Marseille in France. And what Cicero did afterwards, he wrote the speech that we are reading today as the speech that he should have, been, should have given on that occasion. It's perfectly polished and makes all the best arguments. And he would have managed to free his client at that stage and there is some kind of anecdote that Milo when he then read this speech said oh if, if I if the, he had given this speech I wouldn't be eating fish in Marseille now saying sort of like if if he had actually given that speech I wouldn't have been found guilty and um, so in this case um, it's a prime example of that the speech that we read is not the speech that was delivered. But in this case, it's so obvious that it's completely different that many ancient sources comment on it, which is again evidence for us that in other cases, the difference between delivered speech and written speech can't have been so great.